Greetings all our Lamp in the Dark subscribers and listeners. Periodically we'll be posting short videos, perhaps a minute or two in length. And in these short clips, we'll explain a doctrine or something that we've been talking about regarding the 1611 authorized King James Bible. And that way, you don't have to listen to a whole interview to get the essence. So look for these little snippets, they'll periodically appear. And hopefully they make it easier for you to understand some of the things we're talking about. God bless and enjoy. A quick and easy way for true Bible believers to determine if there is oil in your lamp. In other words, is your Bible written by the Spirit of God? So I'd like for everybody to go to 1 John chapter 4, and it says, Try the spirits. And... What we need to realize is that when you try the spirits, you're checking for oil because you're anointed with oil, you're anointed with the Holy Spirit. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Very simple. If your Bible says is come, present tense, which is an eternal Jesus Christ in the flesh, it's of the Spirit of God. If it doesn't say is come in verse 2 in 1 John chapter 4, It's not written from the Spirit of God. Moving on, go to Revelation chapter 13. Your Bible has to say that the mark of the beast is in your head or in your hand. It says in verse 16 of Revelation chapter 13, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. If it doesn't say in... If it says something differently, such as on, it's not the right Bible. It's an Antichrist Bible. It must say in because that's revealed somewhere else in Scripture. And then I'll wrap up quickly. In the Song of Solomon, chapter 2, go to verse 7. It must end in she please. God's word has always said she please.